Is that Chris? Hey, man, I ain't going to cap. I'm happy they finally spoke about this because I felt like this is very needed and some need to be said. But this situation is sad all around the board. But I kind of feel where Gucci White coming from. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Look at Jay here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, Y'all, we got Gucci Man on the roster and also his wife, Keisha, on the roster. Now, if y'all don't know what's going on, pretty much Gucci Man has responded to his former artist, Enchanting, reportedly passing away today at the age of 26, unfortunately. But also his wife responded to everybody pretty much trying to say that, you know, it's a curse to sign the, the 1017 label. And they spoke out about it. Now, before we get into this video real quick, y'all know I don't want to talk y'all head off. First thing I'm going to ask y'all to do is to just hit that like button, you feel me? And smash that bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, as I said, man, pretty much, uh, sadly, news was breaking earlier today that, you know, um, 1017 former artist, um, Texas rapper, Enchanted, you know, she was kind of like a rapper slash singer, reportedly lost her life, you know, sadly at the age of 26. Now, there was a lot of rumors and stuff going on around her passing, saying some people saying that she OD, whatever the case may be. Me personally, like I said, I don't know. You feel me? So I'm not going to go in here and be like, oh, you know, oh, that's what happened. And oh, she following people saying she following big scar steps and all that because y'all know he passed away in that situation. But I don't know you feel me now last night it been a lot going on around her death you know people were saying that you know she was fighting for her life you feel what i'm saying they were saying that she was in the icu and that she didn't pass yet because people ripped her off already now her sister was one of the people that went up on everybody on twitter and said chanting is not dead please just keep praying and know the mother ever trying to tell someone no story right and then she put the prayer hands you know so people was like oh she's still fighting she ain't dead yet. you know like they saying like she you know on life support but then, sadly, Lil CJ Casino, another rapper for Texas, pretty much put out the news and said they pulled the plug, bro. This ish effed up. I just knew you was going to pull through. Enchanted, you forever going to be stock six princess and casino first lady. They don't know all hours you spent at the casino studio, sleeping there, making music, putting this ish together. And you went way further than us. I always told you how proud I was of you. You bought Gucci to the hood, and I was the first person you called. I never forget you kept it solid, and through your whole career, it was none. I couldn't call you for you f the gang up with this one. And he said, "Long little bit chant, right?" So of course, after that, everybody started posting. You know, it had social media going crazy. Now, one thing that people were always saying that Gucci them need to be watched, and that the 1017 label got a curse on it, cause y'all know. Shiesty was signed there, he in jail. Fujiano was signed there, he in jail. Big Scar was signed there, he did. Another um artist, obviously her, she was signed there, she did. And the other artist got dropped. So people were saying that, you know, of course Gucci got something to do with it. It's a conspiracy. And then they went on to say, you know, like it's a curse over there. But Gucci responded. Now Gucci put up a post first and said, so sad to say RIP to such a great young lady, a true star. We all gonna miss you, chant. Right. And then his wife right up on there went up on people and responded to the rumors because people were saying that, you know, it's Gucci fault and saying that, you know, it's some spooky stuff going on at the label. And he went on to say and she went on to say, excuse me, leave my husband alone. He signed the artists to help them and get him a better life. I wish it wasn't like this. Chant, we love you, baby girl. Now, as y'all see, you know, she pretty much said that, you know, he ain't got nothing to do with that, saying that that's not what's going on. You know, she basically saying Gucci got good intentions, but sadly, you know, that's how the cards play out. And it is just a coincidence, you know, it's just crazy that everybody that's on his label passing away. And if that's really not what's going on, that got to be hard on him because even though he don't live their life, he signed them. So, you know, it's a bad, it's, it's probably, it's probably make him feel funny. Like, what am I doing? What am I getting these young artists into? You feel what I'm saying? Now, right after that, she took to her story and also said, dang, champ. This one shot me. When I heard the news, I knew you were going to pull through. I'm so sorry. Rest in heaven. We love you. you no, know, very sad situation. Like I said, everybody on social media have been like really surprised about this. Even myself. And I want a big crazy fan of her. But some stuff you just don't expect. Like, dang, she passed away. Especially in the way they saying she passed away. Now, a lot of people responded. You know, um, literally like a lot of people. Son of Vegas wife or girlfriend responded. You know, uh, Amaretta responded. You know, there's a lot of people. And her sister, like I said, the same one that was going off for her. This is how we knew this, you know, the story was real. She put out a post and said, I love you, girl, with the heartbreak emoji. And then her boyfriend responded also and said some things like, you know, you hurt me with this one. And it's just a very sad and just an unfortunate situation. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know, like I said, we don't know what happened, what caused her passing. 
But I will say, if it is what I think it is, man, on some real stuff, bro, we got to, or not we, because I don't know, but these artists got to put that stuff down, you know? You know, life is too short, bro. That's a beautiful young lady, you know, very young, you know, out the way. Um, just a sad situation all around, bro, you know, like, she didn't really get to live her life out. And y'all know, bro, like, really, that early of an age is not old. Like, it's a lot more life to live, you feel me? Like, that is, you know, it's sad, bro. You feel me? And I'm telling y'all, like, everybody, and I mean everybody, I mean everybody have been sending out condolences, saying RP to her, and it's just an f up situation, you feel me? Rest in peace to her. Her boyfriend went on the side, I love you for life. You knew what was up. You know, it's just, like, it's crazy, bro, you know? But hopefully more details come out, and people start saying what exactly happened to her and what caused her passing, because it's caught everybody off guard. Now, as you see, Armoretta commented and said, you just hurt my feelings, girl. You ain't deserve this. So dang talented. Prettiest ever. Literally the prettiest. You not done. You wasn't done yet. I hate this. My heart go out to all your family and friends. You were so loved out here. Got your wings early. Beautiful face, right? And then some guy named Dre Bay, which I'm assuming he a known person, said, wish I could go back in time. These moments were everything. We love you, Enchanting. You feel me? Erica Banks, another Texas artist. She said, what the F? I love you so much, man. So many memories with you. Such a beautiful person inside and out. The biggest. You feel what I'm saying? Um, P, girlfriend. Love you bad. Chant, RP, baby girl. We used to go to hide and have a have us a ball. You feel me? Another person, Yellow Beezy. Another, like I said, another Texas artist said, dang it, Chant. Rest easy, baby girl. Lakia, one that signed to QC. I love you the most, Enchanting. Enchanting. Tokyo Vandy, I'm pretty sure y'all know she had a big girl that be on social media making little jokes and on loving hip hop to one of the most sweetest, most genuine people I've encountered in the rap game. I'm truly at a loss of words. We will always run the link and have the best time. Always calling and texting, checking on each other, laughing and joking, cooking for you, etc. You are always a good time, my friend. I will remember you. You will be truly missed, my baby. Wow. Prayers to your family. I'm so sorry, sister. So as y'all see, you know, like people are at shock as they should. And this is really show, which I say this all the time. Y'all know this, bro. That life is short, bro. You never know where you're going to go, bro. And it's crazy. You know, nobody expected her to pass away at this young age. But one thing I don't like is how much fake love she finna start getting. And I get it, you know, you know, um, people showing their condolences. But like, that just show you, bro. People love you more when you're dead than when you're alive, man. But damn, man. 26 years old, bro, is very sad, bro. Rest in peace to all the people that passed away from, man, drugs and period, bro. Damn, rest in peace to her, man. Give me y'all thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Lucky J. Thank God for another day, man. I love y'all. Christ loved y'all so much more, obviously. And yeah, bro, I'm out, man.